fell in love with the, the gentle disposition of the American bully. Once free, we're all about the dogs. We let the dogs do the talking, we don't get caught up in drama. We know what the dogs bring to us and what we can bring to them. Hey, what's up, man? My name is Johnny. I'm from Southwest OG Kennels of Paso, Texas, representing here at the Bully Show. Uh, this is us right here in El Paso. Uh, this is my dogs right here. This is my boy right here, Shotgun Boy. Um, you can go ahead and contact us. It's 915-422-2735. Hit me up for any, any, I make dog collars. Anything you want. Pups, everything. Thank you. I think my, uh, my answer to that would be, uh, it would be uh, just backyard, um, you know, backyard breedings, you know? You get just whatever dog and you just want to mix it up, try to get something out of it, and you know, sometimes that doesn't work. And the sad thing about that kind of breeding is that then you start kicking out those dogs out of the streets and those dogs are the same dogs that are out there suffering, no water, no food, no nothing. You go check out the dog pond, that's all there is there, you know, those backyard dogs, you know? And um, I, that's my opinion on that. We're phase three kennels. It's OJ, Darrell, and myself, Darren. We represent XL pit bulls. We have bloodlines such as Certified, Butthead, GK, Gotti, all the above. We go for the three points that we look for is actually size, temperament, and structure. So we got um, also Iron Cross as well. So we got the biggest pit bull that we have in El Paso right here. We got everything you need for for drive, athleticism, protection, companion. We do the perfect companion for you, whatever you need. So people are interested at pit bull, where they want bull, more bully, more traditional ABPD, PT, we got it. So you want a companion? We got it. So the phase three kennels at phase3.com. As far as the breed having a bad rep, that's a lot of the owner. These dogs have one genetic emotion, and that's to please the owner. Now, if you start neglecting them, they become an entity on themselves. So it's your responsibility to socialize and be with that dog from a young age. If you do that from a young age and you socialize them early, you're never going to have an issue. Because the one emotional attribute is not aggression, it's to please the owner. Otherwise, they just get bitter because they sit around all day waiting for you to come home. You are their world. So when you put them on neglect and just throw food at them, that's what happens. Because they just spending all day waiting for that time to shine when they spend it with you. That's all these dogs care about. So there's many, many, many breeds that have actually a higher aggression rate and a more human casualty rate than pit bulls, but it seems like it's just the hot thing to do is to blame the pit bulls. Every 10 years, it's a different breed. It just happens to be the pit bulls turn this time. Before it was the Rottweiler. You know, before that it was another breed. Before that it was another breed. German Shepherds had it in the 70s. So, and now look at German Shepherds, they're the heroes, right? So really, people need to take ownership. It's like blaming a gun for a death. You know, besides the person with the hand on the trigger. If you're gonna own a pit bull, there's a responsibility to know that their whole world is you. And you need to spend time with your dog. So. Hey, what's going on? It's JJ with Bakes and Bullies. Over here at uh, El Paso show, October 20th. Uh, over home, a grand champion, Saki Bomb. Uh, if you wanna just get at us, you can get at me, uh, JJ432-557-5517. Hit us up, BakesandBullies.com. 
or go out on the Facebook ever on page, uh, Banks and Bully World. I appreciate you guys. Later. Um, uh, my name is Daniel Freeman. Uh, I'm what you want, Kennels. Um, part of the Side Side Syndicate here in the El Paso show. Glad to be here. Uh, we have a uh, little mama right here. It's a dog we bred um, out of our kennels off of, of a Dax and Blueberry. Um, we're a small kennel located in Albuquerque. Been uh, in the bully game about three years now. Um, trying to take it to the next level. Uh, um, like I said, we've been doing about three years. Uh, this bully game is getting really, really big. Um, we like to look for us. Look for Denise Freeman at uh, Facebook.com. we got more dogs. we got, we got Cash Pot, uh, First Pick Male, First Pick Female. we got a Blueberry, Michaels. I said, we're just trying to take it to the next level and enjoy what we're doing. It's just a hobby of ours. So thank you very much. I'm Victor Palacio with Palacio Bullies. We specialize in pockets and Razor's Edge American Bullies. Our blood of choice is Razor's Edge. Um, although we do go outside the box as well. Um, right here we have a direct tremor daughter. Tremor's been doing his thing, throwing them really short, wide chest, clean, pocket bullies, perfect top line, short fat tail. I lost your bullies all day, baby. That's how we do. Peace. Hey, my name is Tuki Sinchon from New Mexico, Civil City, New Mexico. We're um, small kind bullies. And um, we just been in uh, showing dogs three years, but in the game five years. And we got two grand champions and three champions in our yard. And um, come out to our show on November 10th. We have a double show in Las Cruces, New Mexico. Uh, we specialize in Razor's Edge. We did a breeding with uh, Manu. Manu breeding, everybody knows about Manu. He produced some ki killer dogs. But uh, yeah, anyway, come out and uh, hope to see you guys out there. Hey, my name is Ali Leal from Loyal Leal Kennels. We represent the Gali Line and Razor Edge Foundation. Uh, we've been doing this for about three years, a little bit over three years. New to the game, loving it, loving the shows and everything. We love what the dogs bring to us and what we can bring to them. Uh, you can reach us at our, our online site at loyallealkennels.com or by phone. Our contact information is all on there on our website. You can check us out on YouTube at Loyal Leal Kennels and see some of our dogs on video. How you doing? Nate, Shaolin Kennels. We're out of Berlin, New Mexico. Uh, recently um, moved here from Hawaii, originally from Boston. So we got some blood from around, pretty much uh, you know, around the United States. Um, been in love with the breed since, probably since 92 is my first dog. I started breeding uh, game dogs and fell in love with the, the gentle disposition of the American Bully. Uh, short, compact. Uh, we are all about the show, um, you know, nice, straight, good moving dogs. Um, try to show, you know, people, you know, the breed isn't all bad. It's all about the owners, how you bring them up. Uh, the show ring is one place where you can show obedience and loyalty and love. And, uh, you know, that's about it, man. And, uh, you know, we'll keep coming back and trying to win some ribbons. We've got some wins today with our boy. Second generation produced. Um, working with some blood from Maui and from the East Coast as well. Take it easy. Bully. Uh, we just love the breed, we're all about the breed, we're all about the dogs. We let the dogs do the talking, we don't get caught up in drama. We keep pushing forward, we repping that homie blood. We are located in uh, Tucson, Arizona. And we just love the breed, man, that's it, the family members. And that's about it, you know. We can locate, locate me on Facebook, Blue Magic, slash Blue Magic. Or look, you can look at my pictures on Instagram. I don't got a website, so you gotta get at me. Any bully shows. Arizona, Southwest, Cali, Texas, we're there.